Hello, what is going on guys? This is Top Notch Park Tutorial Tuesdays and I know I missed it last week Well, that's because I was recording all those episodes and I like was like halfway into editing I'm like crap. I forgot but you know, it's not the end of the world and I might be recording some other tutorials that I'll be uploading throughout the week But anyways, let's get started and this is gonna be about benches or picnic tables that makes sense and um, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna be the first person who's ever done this type of um, bench before. I'm just showing you some ways that I've seen, and some ways that maybe I've created. But I'm not like taking any credit, which I don't think it matters. I'm not saying that I'm not the person that's like been like, oh my god, I'm the one that did this. Cause really, you sh it's not really about who I guess created it. It's more along the lines is that hey, it exists, and here's this idea, and you should use it or something. I don't know. But I'm just filling up the prop meter because I kind of forgot. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. All right. So one of the, obviously the, temp, you can obviously use this as a picnic table, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, it's a little tall and it's just, I don't know. It's fun getting creative and making your own. So one of the easiest ones is if you take the catwalk stairs, take two of them, place it like that. And you can already kind of see that there is some type of a table there. And you can obviously play with its styles. You can leave it as uh, the city terrain. You can play with factory or you can do with park, which I'm just going to do with park because if you make it red, it looks exactly like a um, bench. So now let's just um, move this up a little bit. And as you can see, we can have it elevated and stuff. You don't even really need a support under it. I mean, you can add one if you really want to. But, um, so I mean, there you go. I mean, this is just a pretty, I don't want to say bad, but obviously you can tell I just made that in about two seconds and it looks really awesome and it's really short too so it is fun to do some like grinds you could add like some type of a bank to it so you can like hit a bank and then do a nose blunt or something look all awesome or create something like Mark Johnson and fully flared if you know what I'm talking about so there we go that's another very simple um, bench and another one is um, I actually saw this from Ryan Intergalactic. Goes so go tell him he's awesome. I'm not copying you, Ryan. I'm, I'm well, I kind of am, but I don't. I'm not like stealing this. I know this is yours. So um, we're gonna. Uh, bleh, I don't know. I can't even talk. We're gonna go, go to the fancy ledge, and I'm just gonna use factory because that looks more like concrete. And then I'm just gonna choose a kind of a decent color. And we're gonna place it like so. We're gonna place two because we wanna make it four things wide. And that's gonna actually gonna be the high part of it. And there we go. I mean, you can kind of see that's a pretty awesome bench. It's a different color. Plus, you can change the height. I mean, you're very you're limited by um, having this factory thing there. But I mean, you can still make a pretty tall bench. And yeah, it's just pretty awesome. Even though it doesn't really make sense, because if you think about it, if you're standing right next to it, it really like only goes up to your knees. So I mean, it's just it just looks good. Obviously, it doesn't really make too much sense. But you know, whatever. You got it's skate three, you guys. Just show. So, anyways, let's go to another idea. I'm making a commentary. Damn it! Sorry, if it skipped. My brother just interrupted me. It's alright though. All right, so now we can make a rail one. Now this works with any rail, but I'm gonna be using the wide rail just because it saves terrain. And we're just gonna um, put four rails again, like I did last time, kind of. And it doesn't have to be perfect, because it actually makes sense if the ones we stick out a little bit, because I guess you would put your legs through there. So it's all right if it's not 100%. It's just a tutorial. And we're gonna raise this up just a little bit. Um, that should be about good. And we're gonna stick this into the ground and there you go you actually that looks really cool because I don't know I like the thing under it and I mean it looks kind of like a, a picnic bench But you know, it's not 100% you know, it's more just if it's skatable It doesn't have to be like people aren't gonna be like well I mean that's only an inch off the ground like nobody could even sit there So it's just you know just it's really interesting just to eh. What I'm trying to say is basically you can change colors and it's just, you know, you can edit stuff and that's basically what it is all about is in your park is you don't want to just have, you don't want to be stuck with different colors as you can see in this park. There's tons of different colors and that's going to be in another tutorial about why you should change colors, but no, but 
So hopefully this helped you guys. I kind of went on a rant and I'm sorry if I went off, but hope this gives you, um, I guess, some inspiration of turning, you know, just some ledges and stuff into some picnic tables. As you can see, here are some ideas. And I hope this helped, guys. Um, please leave a comment below on what I should do next. But anyways, I'm going to let the outro play and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hello, thanks for watching my video. Please leave a like and comment. It'll help out my channel a lot. Please subscribe for future uploads and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Pancakes and at It's Chris Owens. And thanks for watching.